I'm in Mount Zion off-road today in my truck, and there's a couple reasons that I'm bringing it to them. Uh, but the main reason is they're a shop that I fully trust. They are located in Dover, Pennsylvania. I've known Mike, the owner, for a number of years. He's an avid Jeeper. They're known for their high quality work and particularly their specialty in four wheel drive vehicles. So they are uh, specializing in all kinds of Jeep lifts, off-road, wheels and tires, as well as rhino linings. And they have a new service, which is one of the reasons I'm going to them. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. Wait while your is perfect. I wanted to have my truck thoroughly washed underneath before having this service performed. I chose a nearby car wash and selected an option which had an underbody flush to make sure that the underbody and chassis were as clean as possible before starting. my pickup truck to Mount Zion off-road today for two reasons. One, because I've replaced the bed on this truck and the bed was originally red. When I had everything painted to match, I said, don't bother spraying the inside of the bed because I want to have it rhino lined. I had had the floor of my XJ rhino lined by Mount Zion before and I knew I wanted to go with that product again because it has held up extremely well. It's super durable. It's very thick when it's sprayed on. It hasn't chipped or peeled up at all. I've been super happy with it. So I knew I wanted to do that. And now they're also offering fluid film application, which is a rust preventive undercoating. It sprays on, it's a lanolin and oil based product. So it does wash off over time, uh, but it also kind of absorbs into the metal and it stays kind of fluid so that it, it can run into the cracks and crevices of the frame and the body and uh, really kind of does a better job of protecting the underside than even paint would at this point. So if you've got an older truck like this where it's already got some rust forming, it's definitely got plenty of little crevices and body seams and things like that where rust is starting to form, fluid film is a great option for making sure that that rust stops where it is and uh, you really just have to apply it annually. In my state, before they start salting the roads is gonna be the best time to do it. So right now it's October, nothing is sprayed on the roads yet, but they're just about to start with the brine and the salt and all the chemicals that are just gonna eat this thing away if I take it out in snow covered roads. So guys, I'm here with Mike. He's the owner of Mount Zion Off-Road, and I uh, wanted to talk to him a little bit about fluid film and Rhino and the vehicle protection that that's gonna add for me to my truck. So Mike, uh, fluid film is a fairly new thing for Mount Zion. Yeah, I would say within the last three months, we see so many vehicles that are just destroyed from rust. Right. Like I can remember the TJ era Wrangler and uh, we used to work them all the time, like regularly, yeah. you know, when, when, especially when this business started. And now it seems like if a TJ era Wrangler comes in, the frame's completely gone, right. rusted out, or it's been patched over. And so very, very, very seldom do we see a clean rust free TJ. Yep. And so it got me thinking about like, man, what other service can we offer that will help prolong and, and create some longevity in these vehicles that are so badly affected by rust and corrosion. Yeah. And so I did great. a bunch of research and found that I think fluid film is the best product on the market. Awesome. Yeah. So I know fluid film, I did a little reading on it too. Yeah. It's developed around World War II for the yeah. Navy to fight the corrosion that they see on- It's, it's new to us, but it is not water. a new product. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, John Deere uses it. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Caterpillar uses it on some stuff that's like shipped overseas. 
drilling rigs, Coast Guard. Like the most impressive thing for me was NASA. Right. If this can be a corrosion Is there inhibitor. Rust in space. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there must be. There must be rust in space. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, if this can be good enough for NASA, yeah. I think it's incredible that it was also used in aviation. I know Delta Airlines uses it. So, yep. you know, there's a lot of industrial and commercial manufacturers that are using fluid film as a corrosion inhibitor yeah and you know i feel like if your truck originally had fluid film treated on it way back when it was new you may have not had to replace the bed <laughs> right hopefully we can start creating vehicles that are going to last longer you yeah. know with the cost of vehicles it's imperative that we try and get the maximum lifespan possible and so while some mechanical failures are unavoidable hopefully fluid film will just help to stop the corrosion related failures. So the first thing that we're gonna do is use this gun with this big long tip on it to hit all the nooks and crannies inside the frame. This is more detail oriented so we can get all the tight, uh, hard to reach areas with that specialized gun. Once we use that special tip on there to hit all the tight spots, we go around with a finer tip. Let me grab it for you just like this. And this will screw right on the end of that gun. We're gonna take the big wand off and that'll let us have a much wider fan to be able to hit the bigger areas much easier. One extra precaution that we take is we wrap the whole exhaust system in this masking paper. There's two things that I don't like about fluid film. One is when it gets on hot surfaces like this, it tends to smoke. And two, when it gets on hot things like this, it's got an odor to it. This fireball pump is made by Graco, and I like Graco because we use their uh, equipment, their high pressure reactor for spraying Rhino. So I was already very familiar with Graco and the precision that their products come. What's unique about this is how it's built to drop on a five gallon bucket and how it has a mixer already built in it. So when we're spraying fluid film, we really like this product to be very, very thoroughly mixed. And so this allows us to plug in just a traditional air line, just like an air tool. And then with this regulator here, we can change the speed of this. It looks like a little miniature boat prop in the bottom of this five gallon bucket. Uh, once that happens and we get it thoroughly mixed, we try and keep the product warm, of course, but this is an air pump or an air sprayer, very similar to what you could see in like a commercial paint setting. Um, but we are spraying, of course, fluid film out of it. We sprayed at a very, very high pressure, uh, right around 1500 PSI. We get the fluid film to atomize like a mist. So it really goes inside of all the frame channels, all the body cavities, up and over fender wells, that kind of stuff we inventory fluid film in black and in clear. And so if we peel off one of these bucket lids, here is what clear actually looks like. It is more of an amber color. So yep. tell me a little bit about Rhino too. So we're protecting the underside of my truck with the fluid film. Yep, yep. Uh, I've got this basically like new bed on the truck and I wanna make sure that I can use it like a truck. Rhino really pioneered the polyurea space specifically for automotive. Okay. Polyureas aren't new. Um, in fact, they were, they were developed in the 1950s with spandex. They manufacture all their products from raw materials the whole way to the finished product that, that we spray. Okay. And so when we're looking for product and availability, man, having a, a manufacturer that we can get product from directly right. is huge. And it's there, made in the USA. Yeah, That's right, really it's cool. made in Texas. We get Rhino lining in raw in, in two different barrels, one part ISO and one part resin. And so with these two barrels, they are pumped via these pneumatic stick pumps right here into this reactor. And so uh, inside the reactor, we spray at a very high pressure and a very high temperature uh, through a hose set to a gun. If you want, we can go out into the spray booth and actually look at the gun that the guys are spraying with. Perry is just suiting up. So anytime one of our applicators is spraying, they are in this fancy white tuxedo. Uh, we've got no skin exposed because the uh, isocyanate is definitely hazardous. And so we make sure that they've got fresh air to breathe the entire way through the process. process. 
and we've got plenty of exhaust coming out through the ceiling. The air change in this booth happens about twice a minute. So all the air inside this booth is being exchanged twice a minute. So he's got plenty of fresh air being directly supplied to his face mask and everything is going out through the ceiling. The gun that we spray with is right here on the table. And as you can see, it's got two pieces to it. Uh, of course, we have compressed air that is coming out here, which helps to atomize, but we have our ISO and resin. These guns do take a fair amount of maintenance as does the entire booth. And so regularly we do gun teardowns as well as we peel all the walls, remove all of the floors, clean all of the, fa the filters, peel all the curtains. Uh, so even days that we're not spraying, we schedule a maintenance day to make sure that, of course, we've got the gun torn down. We actually keep two of these uh, and the walls peeled and floors clean, that kind of stuff. So uh, it is kind of a messy process. And so we try and stay ahead of that with scheduled PM days. It looks good. Yep, yep. All right. Well, Mike, thanks so much for having me yeah. here today. Get my truck protected inside and out. I'm yeah. excited to go into winter now knowing that when I take my truck out in the snow, it's not gonna be getting eaten away at by salt and all the nasty chemicals that they put on the roads. That's right. And I can use my truck bed without having to worry about damaging that anymore as well. So, yeah, for sure. It was great to have you here. Yeah, thanks for the little tour of the facility and everything yeah, that goes into this whole process, both the Rhino and the food film. Yeah, absolutely. It was a pleasure to have you here. I was glad to show you around. Awesome. Appreciate Thanks, John. it. Yeah, man. Thank you. Well, I wasted no time putting my truck right to work. In the past couple of weeks, I have hauled numerous construction and demolition materials, everything from two by fours to drywall to fiberglass, and even some very seasoned firewood. I've been extremely happy with not only how the Rhino Liner has performed and held up, but how easy it is to clean. We haven't had any snow yet, but the fluid film still looks excellent, and I trust that it is going to protect this truck from winter, from harsh chemicals, and from further rust. If you're in the central Pennsylvania or North Maryland area and you need either of these services for your truck, trust Mount Zion Off-Road because they will do an excellent job and they will stand behind their work.